kidded people. You know, they love to send their wives and daughters out without guns. Raped, killed, they love it. It's like a sacrament of idiocy. We'll tell you more about this coming up and a ton of other news and your calls and guests in here. We'll be right back from Orlando. Yeah! Yeah! Infowars.com! Yeah! We're alive! Folks. See, having, having all these people uh, staring at me here, it, it, it kind of makes me want to blush. So I feel like I have to self-deprecate with some joking around a little bit here. Uh, after this break, I am going to start getting some people in here to talk with us. In fact, why don't you come in next segment, uh, Doc Holliday, and, and talk about the royalty, the royalty that's here in town and, and shutting down all the highways for the NBA. I mean, it's like a wide open highway, and there's all these cops acting like God has arrived. Uh, again, you have to protect them from the rabble, uh, but the rabble who paid for it. So, uh, coming up in about five minutes, we're going to cover it. So, I'm just, just be on standby there in your public green room. It's almost like when the politicians have their families standing behind them. I have the local radio station behind me. Uh, getting back to this uh, article that reads like satire, but it's not. It, it's, 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 it's ninnying about, oh, they stand by it, uh, strip searching him, government taking his children because the, the daughter drew a gun and said that daddy kills monsters and we had to make sure there was a gun. Why did they have access? They went to his house without a warrant. Don't need those anymore. From a public safety point of view, any child drawing a picture of a gun. From now on, just say guns, guns. And, and, uh, and I'm sorry, I've overdone that. And say, it's fun to do though. And saying there's guns in the home would warrant some further conversation with the parents and child, said Allison Scott, executive director of Family and Children's Services. Yes, it would, it would, it would warrant a talk. Grabbing you at the school in front of everyone, keeping you for the day, strip searching you, taking your children. That's what we call talking to you. We're the gods reasonable. Our, our handbooks and training for CPS say we're going to break up the family and it's a disease and we're a eugenics cult set up in 1915 in North America across the continent to break up the family. But it's just we're going to talk to you. It's no big deal. We're just here to train your kids for prison. We have the biggest prison population in North America as well. Continuing. Waterloo Regional Police in SEP, Kevin Thaller, said there was a complaint from Forest Hills Public School that a firearm was in a residence and children had access to it. See, the gun's not illegal, but they said the children had access. A child draws a gun that they can see on TV anywhere. You're guilty without a court and you don't have a warrant and, and you get strip searched and your kids get taken. I mean, how many of us drew images of guns as children in school? I know I did. How many people? I, I, I'm seeing a lot of hands raised here, a lot. But after I look into the lights, I can't see anymore. <laughs> big, big spots there. Uh, trying to read here. So, so there, there you have it. Waterloo Regional Police uh, Inspector. I guess NSP is Inspector. Inspector, inspecting the enemy and the, the Canadian people, uh, said there was a complaint from Forest Hill Public School, government training camp, that a firearm was in a residence and children had access to it. We had every concern based on this information that the children were in danger. Their concern wasn't based on the drawing alone. <gasps> no, it gets worse. The child who made the drawing also made comments about it that raised more flags. Wait, daddy shoots monsters. He said he went to the school Wednesday afternoon to pick up the three children. But see, they don't tell you what the flag was because they want to just let it linger like it was really bad. But they don't tell you until later. It's all written for propaganda purposes. Notice how they operate. This is a propagandist writing this. He said he went to the school Wednesday afternoon to pick up the three children. He was summoned by the government training camp, I mean, to the principal's office, where three police officers, you mean globalist enforcement, family destructive, New World Order servant minions were. Let me go back to that. I was translating it. He said he went to the government training camp. I'm sorry. He said he went to the school Wednesday afternoon to pick up his three children. Uh, he was summoned to the principal's office where three police officers were waiting. They said he was being charged with possession of a firearm. Oh. He was escorted from the school and put in the back of the cruiser. And then it goes on the strip search. And what was the next flag? That they asked the young girl and she said, Daddy shoots monsters with it. 
Don't worry about monsters. I have the toy gun. Oh, good, Daddy. Uh, we'll be, right, folks, I played gun with my kids all the time, you know, running around playing. I guess I'm evil. I mean, I need to have them taken, I guess, with a loving state. All right, finishing up. Uh, we are here in Orlando visiting my local affiliate, A10. Yeah. Let them hear your war growl. Yeah. Yeah. Rob Zombie, step aside. I want your job, boy. Yeah! Freedom! The globalists literally poop in their pants when I hear that. They're like, get more Prozac, more Ritalin in them. GMO immediately. It's only killing the rodents in three generations. I want them diseased and damaged now. They're rising up quickly. More American Idol, more brainwashing. Excuse me. Getting back to the rabble, I'm down here with the commoners in Orlando, Florida. Rabble. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Ah. Doc Holliday's here with us. Good to be with you, sir. It's good to be with you. I mean, you are the man. Uh, please don't. Please. Well, I didn't mean that. No, I'm not. You are the man. Now, let's stop right there. Uh, you were on my show a couple days ago, and you were telling me about how just in the lead-up to the All-Star Game and Lord Obama landing when he's not shipping guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment of narcotics back to the United States or bombing countries without congressional approval, you were telling me that our lordship, who goes to the U.N. to launch wars, because he says it's for their credibility, right. Mr. Treason, who sat at the head of the U.N. Security Council violating Article 1, Section 9, I don't just use treason lightly, he, you told me they shut down highways, roads, motorcades, part of downtown, total lavishment, uh, taxpayer funds. Uh, shutting down local businesses. God has arrived. Uh, and I've actually seen this while I'm here. I shot a YouTube driving in of just, you know, the, the, uh, tour buses with police escorts and just everything lavishment. Uh, tell us tell us what's going on here. Well, you know, I, it was funny because I, I would tell Alex, I'd say, look, you don't even realize how strange it's become. It became a, a racially divisive issue. Oh yeah, because he's running ads saying, uh, acquitting himself with Martin Luther King when he signed the NDAA to abolish the Bill of Rights, and, 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 and saying African Americans for Obama, yeah. Right. And, and those are running here, and he's in the Oval Office. It's, it, it's a campaign ad saying churches vote for me, too. Right, and, and so... I'm going to interrupt you some more. No, 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 it's okay, you can interrupt me. I'm going to do it again. I'm no, used I'm to it all the time. My listeners are going to get more of it, I'm sorry. It's okay. Tell him to interrupt me. It's all right. It's a joke. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. What I said was, I said, you know, be surprised. You're coming here to Orlando, and I know the NBA All-Star Game is here, but Obama came in, and he flew in with an agenda. And what no. they, they no, it was a big agenda. Then they started running that ad, and we emailed <laughs> you the ad. He's thinking for himself, no government has an agenda. That's a conspiracy. It was thing. horrible. And then the media started showing. It was horrible. They would go to ethnic Americans, God bless you, no matter what you are, and say, what do you think? No, they're trying to create division in, in the they're name of, yeah. Creating division. <laughs> yeah. They created division <laughs> in the media, and then everyone said, yeah, NBA All-Star Weekend is us. Obama's here. I don't know who he's going to relate to, to be totally honest. My with point him. is that's great for him to be reaching out to whatever ethnic group. That, that's fine. My issue is that it's like, I'm going to give you a free house. He, he lied to everybody. He's a puppet. There's he's a just a like woman, Bush. There's a woman in Tampa right now who still is waiting for her free house and her mortgage to be paid in 2008. She said, can I, have a, can I get my house paid for because I'm about to get thrown out? And he's like, yeah, I'll take care of it. Who would say over and over again, oh, thank you, Mr. President, remember that guy? And that was in Florida. He goes, I want I wanna, uh, my, my car paid for. And Obama goes, you'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> and that poor woman was like, oh, Lordy, Lordy, he's paying my mortgage. And I want somebody go down and tell her. He's lying. By the way, they do have those mortgage renegotiation deals, but it doesn't even really help you. I've looked at them and had experts on. And when you sign that agreement, you waive all your rights. Well, they closed down the roads here in Orlando. They built lanes for Obama's VIP. Obama came in 
to yeah, go. The traffic is horrible, and people tell me it's not normally like that. Oh, no, it's not that bad, and you saw what I was telling you. It, it, well, first I run into this giant traffic jam, and they've got cops. I didn't get that part because I pulled my iPhone out after. They had cops all over the side of the highways partially blocking, so we were almost late getting here. You know, we only got here like 45 minutes before instead of like an hour and a half right. for all the stuff we had to do. And I'm like, what is this? And, and it's just that the highway shut down, and then it's these cops, and then it's these royal buses. They were like blocking the road for them to enter the royal road. You can't drive <laughs> anywhere around here because the elitists are here. Now, that's okay. It's an all-star game, whatever. But it became a racial issue because in the Daytona 500, which is being run right now, over in, um, you know, in Daytona, obviously, and then you have the NBA all-star game, and Obama came in and favored the all-star game, would not go to the Daytona 500. 500 and made it a huge issue and then they started running the ad that we sent you they ran the ad when they, they brought up slavery they brought up all kind of stuff Martin the point Luther is King. the point is it my big issue is remember bush started getting booed at baseball games and stuff and started hiding so obama i don't blame him not going to the nascar deal just because that you know crowd i mean good folks bad folks like any other crowd who knows what they do so i understand now that obama's so unpopular kind of like bush has got to hide out but when you sent me the video what i went crazy on and I meant to play it today. I played it a few days ago, as uh, everybody knows. And I think the title of it is like a million and a half views on YouTube. It's airing on TV here as something like Obama announces uh, African Americans uh, for Obama 2012. African Americans for Obama. But listen, not in, Latinos, it, in it, not whites, not anybody, only African Americans but point, for Obama. But my issue is, he says, in the churches, set up vote teams. Your churches must vote for me. Now, wait a minute. They tell people don't have uh, political stuff in your church or organize it as a political group, which you actually have the rights to under the First Amendment. But they lie and tell conservative or libertarian churches you can't do that. But here's Obama saying, use the churches to get people elected and no media coverage of this saying, get your church to get out of the ballot for me. That video was run on the big scoreboard inside the Amway Arena during an NBA game. And how is that supposed to make people feel? How does that make the white guy feel versus whatever that he is trying to appeal to? I mean, let's face it, I'm blacker than Obama. You're blacker than Obama. And you know what? Don't play the race card unless you can back it up. So he played the race card, and I thought to myself, and that's why we sent it to you, it's running all over TV. So he happens to, you know, land, and he wants to do the NBA thing, and he wants to hang out with people that he has no idea what their names are. And all he did was cause divisiveness because the media well, here's my issue. suddenly picked up. I'm sick of paying for Formula One tracks and billion-dollar sports stadiums. Uh, and I'm sick of Bush, Obama, anybody with like 50 60, you know, cavalcade deal shutting down roads. I'm tired of it, period. I mean, you know, they need to act like public servants and not God. That's what I'm tired of. But you know what? What it was is that they deliberately shut down part of inter Interstate 4 only for Obama's VIPs. And it caused a lot of problems. Yeah, so now it's not just the president that shuts down highways. It's the VIPs. It, well, it's the rappers. It's these guys that get arrested. They got the gold teeth. They've got all kinds of problems. You've got all kinds of people here with drug raps. And we're supposed to be emulating these people. And we think, honestly. Honestly, that the people are looking at it the wrong way. By the way, they put a big wall up around the Amway Arena so the local businesses could not do a lick of business because the VIPs didn't want to be bothered with dealing with local people. Well, look, so why is the NBA All-Star Game here? Listen. Why is it here? This shows the elitism, and they get the mayors and everybody, like Formula One in Austin, taxpayers pay for it, and then... We're all going to be basically blocked off from it, and it's going to screw up the city, but because the mayor gets invited. What I love is because uh, this political system, a lot of times people sell out not even for money. They sell out just to be invited to the party. You couldn't pay me to go to a Formula One. If you like it, fine. You couldn't pay me to go to an NBA game. And I like basketball. It's just going there and the checkpoints and the people and all of it. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous, and it's the way they build it up. Like, it's the end-all, be-all.